challenge, I'll start creating a maze walking game. The sprite will move around the stage directed by arrow key presses and bounce off the walls. I'll get the movement working so you can add the variety of things to make the game you want. I'll get rid of the cat, right click, delete, and get Giga. New sprite, fantasy, get Giga walking. I want a smaller Giga. <laughs> smaller Giga. A Giga is a billion. It's hard to get a smaller billion. Go to looks, get set size. Instead of 100, try 50, run it. I'd like her a little smaller. Instead of 50, try 40. Good. I'll let Giga start up here. Go to Motion. Go to. Now Giga will always start in that position. Do this when the green flag's clicked. I want to move Giga around with the keyboard arrow keys. Control. Forever. I'll have a loop check for key presses. Sensing. Key pressed. I'll break the loop up into two procedure blocks. Move left, right, and move up, down. So move left, right will focus on the X positions, and move up, down will focus on the Y positions. I'll create the blocks, more blocks, make a block. Call it move left, right, OK. I'll move the definition down and call it in the loop. Create the other procedure block. Call it move up, down. OK. I'll move the definition over here and call it in the loop. When the green flags click, the sprite size is set to 40%, placed on the stage, and endlessly loops, moving the sprite for left and right arrows and up and down arrows. I'll define move left right. If the right arrow key is pressed, I'll move the sprite to the right. Control. If. If the right arrow key is pressed. If the right arrow key is pressed, I want to move to the right. Go to Motion. Change X by. How many steps should an arrow key move Giga? I'll try five, but I want the same value for all the arrow keys, so I'll create a variable. Data. Make a variable. I'll call it my step size. For this sprite only, OK. I'll get the monitor off the stage, uncheck, and I'll initialize it to five. Change zero to five. Change X by my step size, so Giga will move to the right five steps. But how will Giga know when she's bumped into a wall? Go to Sensing, Touching Color. Giga can sense when she's touching a color. I'll have black walls, so she'll know the color to look for. I need the walls now. I'll go to Stage, Backdrops. I want to use Vector Mode. It's much easier moving walls as vectors rather than bitmaps. I'll make the border first. Rectangle, get a thicker line, make the rectangle, good. Now I'll draw a few walls, line, I'll hold the shift key down so it draws horizontal and vertical lines, draw another, down, over, down, make one more, and here. Now when Giga moves around the maze, she can make her way around the stage. Except for here, not enough room there. Everywhere else is OK. I'll shorten the line, back to stage, select actions already selected, click on the line, and I can shrink it. Finished with that. Now there's enough room for Giga to move around. I'll go back to scripts. Now I can determine when Giga is touching a wall. I can select a color, click on it. I'll select black. And now if Giga is touching this color, it'll be true. Otherwise, it'll be false. It's false. That's right. I'll move her so she's touching a wall. Touching color. True. Good. Now I can use this. When the program loops and calls left, right, and if the right arrow key is pressed, the sprite will move five steps to the right. If Giga is touching a wall, I want the loop to keep moving backwards one step until Giga is not touching the wall anymore. Go to Control, repeat until, repeat until not touching operators, not touching black. I want to move backwards one step. I'll duplicate change X, 
get rid of the extra repeat and the extra my step size, and change x by minus 1 to move to the left. Now Giga will move back one step and keep doing it until she's not touching a black wall. I want to do a similar thing if the left arrow key is pressed. Duplicate, change right to left arrow. I want to change x by negative my step so it moves to the left. I can subtract it from 0 or multiply it by negative 1. I'll subtract it from 0, 0, minus my step size will be negative my step size. Repeat until not touching black, good. Change x by 1, so Giga backs up to the right, moving away from the wall. I'll try this and see whether the left and right arrows work correctly. Green flag. Giga can't move down, so I'll move Giga over here. Now I'll try the right arrow and the left arrow. Bouncing off. Good. I'll stop it. I'll make move up down from move left right. Duplicate. If up arrow, I want to change Y. Motion. Change Y by my step size. I can get rid of change X's. Get rid of this one and this one. Repeat until not touching black is good. Change Y by minus 1, so it moves down. And for the down arrow, change Y by negative my step size. Get rid of the change X's. Change Y by 1. Repeat until is good. It's ready to run. When the green flag's clicked, the sprite's resized and repositioned, and the loop repeatedly looks for left and right arrows and down and up arrows. If an arrow key is pressed, the sprite's moved and slowly backed up until it's not touching a wall. I'll run it. Try some left and right arrows. Good. Try down. Bounces nicely. Go to the left. Bounce off the top. Good. You can move Giga around. Goes nicely. Lots of different arrows. Move around. Good. Up. Over. And down. Good. Gig is moving nicely around the stage. I'll stop the program. I'm finished with this challenge. I encourage you to play with the program and understand how the key pressed, touching color, change X, and change Y blocks work. Try changing the program. Try making Giga smaller and drawing a more interesting maze. Try changing the step size for when arrow keys are pressed. It's trivial since all the arrow keys use the same my step size variable. That's why I created it. Try adding an exit with a different color or your own exit sprite and having your program finish when Giga touches the exit. Replace this forever block. Try having Giga appear to walk with costume changes as she moves. Try adding a timer to determine how long it takes Giga to get through the maze. Try adding sprites or colored objects around the maze and have interesting things happen when she touches them. Change your size, use graphic effects, play sounds, sneezing, laughing, coughing. Make your own Easter egg if you'd like. Try adding a point score, giving and taking away points, when Giga gets to certain areas or touches different colored objects on the stage. But above all, use your imagination and have fun creating your own game.